So this is Cogni. This is a learning platform that helps with assessment. Today we'll be looking at three different ones. This is the first of three. Um, it's a great way to utilize uh, technology and help students um, with um, specifically English language arts. In this particular example, there's science. But what it does is it analyzes the text in ways that can um, help students enhance their language learning, um, show the progress of different type of words that are used, and it can also be used with Canvas um, or, or different types of um, technological systems that are used among schools. This can be for K-12. Um, it can also be used in university settings. Um, utilized specifically for as formative assessment and the um, adaptability can change based upon the language that's used as well as um, what the students need. Now this is Digi exam, another form of assessment. This is a great way to incorporate um, different questions and track the analytics of the progress that students make. It's extremely time efficient um, and it helps students with being able to um, work across different classrooms. Um, teachers can co-grade, students can share the information with their parents so parents can look at progress. Um, this can be used to see if the students are making adequate yearly progress um, and contributing to different test scores as a class. The exams can be accessed online or offline, which is great. Um, this also saves paper. The last one's Edulastic, and this one is the third and final assessment tool. Um, this one is free to join, and what it does is it aligns with Google Classroom so that um, administrators can deliver different exams. That'll help students out for free. Um, these can be changed over time depending upon what areas students need to focus on. This would be used for English language arts again. And um, the goal is to make sure that, um, well particularly I would use it for English language arts, but the goal is to ensure that students have a better handle on technology when it comes to learning. And here's how you sign up for a free account whether you're a student or a teacher. And that's all.